welcome to another episode of Crafts with My Coffee. These are fun to do. I just realized how much crafting I do besides my vlogs and my life cues, which quite honestly, I haven't done a lot of life cues because I haven't been well. But these crafts are quick and I can get them done and they don't require a lot of thinking. So what you're looking at in front of you is Dollar Tree Carvable Pumpkins. Didn't know there was such a thing till I watched another person's vlog that was doing this craft. And I thought it was so fun, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. But these apparently, see, they're hollow. And you can carve them out like little kids could carve them. And they have a big box of them in the Dollar Tree. I'd never seen them before. So what I've done so far is given them a coat of just this off-white, warm white paint. It's just to take away that orange um, vibrancy because they're bright, bright orange, as you can see right, that little bit right there. And I'm going to do sweater pumpkins. Yes, it's probably the millionth video on sweater pumpkins that's out there. But in case some of my viewers haven't seen any, I'm going to do them. So I went to Goodwill yesterday and it's right next to Dollar Tree very dangerous and I picked up some sweaters so while those are drying I'll show you what I got I'm going to I'm gonna use the sleeves so this is just an off-white one so two of them are going to be an off-white and two of them are going to be hang on striped and then there's one other sweater that I don't see here right now and it's just a plain, oh no, I know what it is. It's the cowl of the striped one right here. So one's just going to be solid, two striped, and two white. And I'm giving two to Deanne, so I don't need all five pumpkins. And then I got an assortment of different leaves for the stem at the Dollar Tree. But what I want mostly are the off-white and brown ones, the ones that are mostly um, neutral tones, like that. And maybe with a stripe when there's a tiny bit of a hint of burgundy in it, so I might use some of those. So what you do first is you simply pull out the little stem is right here, and it's got a pick on it already, and it comes right out, so it'll just pull right out of the pumpkin. And so you place those aside and you give them all a coat of paint. And then I'm just going to let those dry. So the next thing I'm gonna do is work on the stem and I'm going to use some burlap. And I found this amazing, uh, I guess, jute wire. So it curls up, can you see that? I love it. So I think my pumpkins are going to be more shabby chic, or I guess the new word is farm style. I think that's what they call it, but see how it curls. So what I'm going to do is cut this in maybe half or thirds. I don't know how wide I need it. And then cover up this greeny thing with some of that and then glue it with my glue gun. Then I'm going to glue that coiled jute around it and make a curly stem. So yeah. I just decided to, there's still a lot of paint on this sponge, so I'm just going to sponge off some of that green before I cover them in jute. So all the stem tops are all just quickly toned down is basically what I'm doing, trying to tone down the um, amount of glare from the brightness of these primary colors so and that was all on one brush I didn't even uh, have to add any more paint to it so yeah so after the pumpkins are dry I've already started on one I pulled the sweater, and I wanted the rib part of that sweater, through one of the pumpkins. It takes like two seconds. And then you, I just started gathering it on the bottom. And if I had two hands I, to do it and show you, I would. 
And I literally, you're just going to gather it and glue it until it's all shoved in there. This, see, this sweater, this was a sleeve, and the top part of the sleeve was smooth. And the bottom where the wrist was, was ribbed. So I did it that way because I know once I get all my embellies on here, the smooth part will be um, hidden. You know, once I get everything all glued on there, etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover my stopper, my stem topper, with some burlap. And then wrap around this the wired piece to make our stem kind of cool looking. So I want to show you how I did the stem. So I covered it with some of that burlap and just kind of gathered, rolled it, like twisted it almost. And then I started at the top, leaving a little bit um, of that wire out so I could curl it. And then I started wrapping up the burlap in the twine until it got to the bottom right here and then I glued it with glue gun. Look at my hands guys. So then we're going to be sticking it in here eventually and then because of the wire we can twist this however we want it to be. It could be wacky however you want. See? Isn't that cool? I love it! Now all I have to do is add the ribbons and the leaves. No there's no ribbons. I have a leather strip, I have leaves, I have tons of different things that I just want to add to it. So do you get the idea though about the stem? And it can be short, as tall as you want it to be. Okay, so everything's all dry. I just removed the stem that I had in here. And I'm going to, this is just frayed ends of that burlap that I was working with to make the this. So I just kind of ran it through my fingers. It's just all frayed, no rhyme, no reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this in. I think I'll do one on one side and one on the other. So it's sort of, sorry you didn't see that. One on one side, one on the other. Then I'm going to glue my leaves in. And then I think I want the white one on the top. And then remember I said I had some leather. I might also, uh, where's my stem? So none of this is glued yet. So we're just playing around here. So let's pretend that's in there. And I might take a little piece, I don't know, of this leather and tie a bow around. And we'll see what happens, see what it looks like. So I've got the darker leaf pushed in there and I put a little bit of that off white paint on an old sponge here. I'm just going to sponge it a little bit just to get rid of some of that, um, you know, just to make it look shabby chic, I guess, not to get rid of anything, just to shabby chic it up a little bit more. And then we're going to put this one right like so. You see that? So I have these cute little tweezers. So for these gluey bits, I've been using the tweezers just to kind of poke stuff in. So my glue gun is a hot one. So, you know, please avoid burning your little fingers. So I've got the leather in there. I've got the strings in there. The next thing I'm going to do is put the leaves in. As I've also done the same thing with this leaf, even though it's already kind of a peachy color. I took that off white and just sort of smooshed it in just to add to it. So now I'm going to tie my little things around. Some of them are going to tie in a bow and the rest are going to kind of hang and then we'll trim it. Okay and here we have pumpkin number one. I tied the leather in a bow and uh, this leather I didn't know it kind of coils when you sort of play with it so yeah, I'm going to do that on the other side too, maybe get, yeah, a little bit like that. I absolutely love my stem. I've trimmed the strings just to tabletop. That, my friends, is a very cute sweater pumpkin, isn't it? So I'm going to go put this one upstairs and finish all the rest. So this is what it looks like when I get it out of my messy craft room. You can really see it. Isn't it the cutest? 
I love it. So I'm just gonna go on and do the same thing with the other patterns, the striped one and the solid one. I love it. So here's the second one I'll finish and you can see even, because I painted the pumpkins off white but the orange is really shining through on this one. You see that? Because there's the sweater's holier, obviously. But it's still okay. I mean, I, I'm fine with it. And I added a tiny bit of tulle here. Can you see that? Right there. And then, like I said, some of the strings from the sweater. And uh, just more shredded twine. I just take it as it comes. And the stems are all different. They're all going to be different because they're twisted up all differently. And like I said, those burgundy leaves, see the difference? So that's pumpkin numero two, number two. I should have been more mindful of where the leaves are falling because the sweater seam is right there, but I guess it doesn't matter if it's like that. And it wants to fall that way itself, so they're so cute. They just are adorable. Pumpkin number three, and I really like this one. This one's my favorite, I think. This was the one that was made with the cowl of the sweater. I absolutely love it. And because the cowl was wider around, you had to kind of tuck it in. Can you see at the top and at the bottom? I didn't even glue the bottom in. I just tucked the sweater all the way in. But isn't it cute? And then I used some tool. This tool was gray. I dyed it uh, with tea earlier for another project. And yeah, frayed twine and my leather. I love this one. So pumpkin numero trois. Two more babies to go. So I'm all finished my sweater pumpkins. Aren't they lovely? There's tool around them and cords. And then what I did with the other two, because I kept three for me and I'm giving two to Deanne, I added them to my autumn display here. So when I light my real candles, I have to make sure I keep them away from the cord and twine, the pumpkin. But didn't they turn out fun? And this is a super, I mean, if you want to do just one, it'll take you about 15 minutes. But I did five, because I was doing two for her. But I just think it just adds to your autumn table. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, easy, fun project. So remember, go and get the hollow pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, because you can carve a hole in them super easy. So thank you so much for watching and here's yet another sweater pumpkin video. <laughs> See you next time, bye. <laughs>